Hi, in today's video, we are going to study enter, exit and updating. What is enter and exit method and when basically we are using it? So, consider a case when our array is longer than the number of elements which are present on an SVG or an HTML page or I would say DOM elements. Or say for example, array elements are lesser in number as compared to DOM elements. In that case, whatever data we have performed joined over this with this DOM data would be mismatched in number. Now what is an enter method? Enter method is used when array elements are more as compared to selected DOM elements. Say for example, in an array we have tens of elements and in an HTML page, say for example, we have two to three circles and we are binding this array element data with circles data. In this case, we do not have enough of elements of circle to represent each data individually. So in this case, we make use of enter method after data method which identifies how many or which DOM elements are needed to add when array is joined with DOM element or selection. To put it in simple way, we are going to call enter method after our data method. Say for example, we have selected body here in, inside this body as you can see there are only three p tags which are still empty and variable my data contains here five elements each element is consisting of one letter and we are here wishing these p elements with this data variable so we first of all select body tag and we select all p tag and after selecting these p tag we bind array my data with this selection with the help of data method now after this data method we directly write enter method the reason for writing enter method is that we have only three p elements and we have total five data inside an array so in a result if i bind or if i wish to display each character within each paragraph i would need five paragraphs to display five characters that's why may we make use of enter so enter basically returns enter selection which basically represent an element that needed to be added. So with the help of enter method, now system would know that it needs remaining 2p tags that is needed to be added to our selection. Now after identification of an element or number of elements that are required and which element is required next we need to add those element actually in our dome tree so new elements are actually added with the help of append method which adds an element to our dome so we will see working of enter what is an effect with enter and append method and what is an effect without enter and append method let us have a look at an example. So in this example within body we are going to create three empty p tags. So these are empty p tags and within script we have one variable say my data which is of an array type and within this we have in total five elements say B, C and one more element D and the last element is E. Now here I wish to bind these data. I'll save it as enter exit HTML. Within this I will first select d3.select body element and within this I will select all P tags. So all B tags are selected. Now here I wish to bind my data. So with the help of data method, I will bind my array, which is my data. Only this much. Uh, let me save this document and look at this web page first. Nothing is displayed over page. I will go to inspect element. 
Now in an element window, look at this p tag. There are only three p tags even though we are having five elements in an array. Now after data method, let me add one more method that is enter. Enter method will identify which tag is needed to be added and what is the number of tags that are needed to be added. Say for example here it will identify that p tag is need to be added and what is the quantity of p tag that we wish to or we would require to add. Say for example in this case it would require two more tags. Now that particular value will be returned by enter method and using an append command only that much tag will be added. Now this append command is going to append p tag. Let me save this document and check it refresh now as you can see there are total three p tags which are actually present over there and we have appended that means before the completion of body there are two no more p tags that are added there are in total five p tags which each is corresponding to one element in an array say for example array contains now six element so i have updated number of elements i will simply save and refresh this document now as you can see there are in total six p elements over a web page so this is the beauty of enter and append command it will identify how much tags are missing and using an append we are going to append those many tags into our dom tree now it is also possible to have or to bind an array to the tag or a selection which is empty. That means, say for example, my document doesn't contain any p tag and I bind my data to p tag which is not present in a document anywhere. So it is very common practice where we bind data with selection which is very empty. Let us see this example how it basically works. Say for example, I did not have any pre tags over here, right? So even though p tags are not present, I say or I select body and I select all p tags. Now remember this: selecting all p tags while there is no p tag, the complete selection is empty. And with the help of data method, we are binding an array to an empty selection. That is, there are no p tags in a document. And using enter method, we are finding how many uh, elements are needed to be added and those many times we are appending p tags into a document. Now where these p tags are going to get added, they are going to get added in a body. So within a body, there will be total number of p tags that are going to added is number of elements that are present in a, an array. So this way we can bind an array with an empty selection. Let us save this and observe an output. Now as you can see there are total six elements in my array and there are total blank six p tags are there. Now these tags are blank. Nothing is displayed over this page. Let me add elements of an array as a text to paragraph. So to add elements as a text to paragraph, we would write it as text. Now these texts are added as a function of data because for each paragraph we need to or we wish to have some different data as per the array element. Here we will write simply return D. So data would be returned and for each paragraph there would be one element as a data. As you can see, first paragraph contains first data, second paragraph contains second data and so on. Now here I would like to show you one more thing. Say for example, my document contains three empty p tags. With the help of selecting all p, it is going to select three p tags. While binding a data, it would bind first three elements with first three p tags. With the help of enter element, it will identify that we are still need three elements to get added. 
and with the help of append p method we are appending new 3p tags now this text function is applied only to the new selection that means it would get applied to newly appended 3p tags not to our old selection of previous or already present p tags let me show you output in this way d e and f will be only set as text to our document let us see if this works or not now here as you can see your document still contains 6p tags because there are 6 element in array and there will be 6p tags each corresponding to array element but only text is applied to the recent selection or appended paragraphs only so in this case whatever the old selection is not considered for text method now if we wish to have complete selection we will make use of merge method after this append method so for that merge we first need to make complete selection let me uh, make or put this variable selection which is is equal to selecting body select all p and uh, this data method is applied to the selection the same thing nothing is different but here when i make use of merge method it requires the name of selection with which we want to merge the current selection so here i will write down or pass a parameter selection that contains body and previous p tag selected which are stored in this selection variable so a ab newly appended p tags are going to get merged with previous p tags and this complete selection is applied for text method now for each element or for each p tag one element will get or set as a text let me save this and let us observe this output now as you can see these previous p tags also contains textual data as they are get binded with array element now exit method exit method returns an exit selection which consists of elements that needed to be removed from the dom element so while my array element are less in number as compared to dom element some dom elements are extra and they need to get removed so how many number of elements needed to be removed is getting identified by exit element and to remove those element actually we will make use of remove method say for example an array element contains only one data that is character a and body contains three paragraph or empty elements p so in this case we will make use of d3 dot select body we will select all p tags and we bind array with this selection with the help of data method and with the calling exit method it will identify the unknown or unused p tags which are needed to be get removed and with the help of actually remove method those elements are going to get removed so we make use of exit method when elements of array are less in number as compared to our dom element let us take an example of the same as here you can see there are only okay let me make only one element over here only one element is there i won't change any code over here say refresh as you can see only one p tag is having textual data or text which is a data from our element that is a so what basically we can do is now i'm going to save this document and observe its output as here you can see there is only one p tag 
make sure the changes that i have done into the document my selection is cut selection of body as well as all p tags plus binding a data so this complete selection is within a variable select so select dot enter will identify number of elements if required to get entered it is going to return zero in this case because there are more than required number of elements dome at dome present as compared to variables or or array elements and it is uh, zero it is going to add that's why zero is going to get uh, appended and this zero selection is going to merge get merge with previous selection which contains only one p tag now text of that one p tag is going to get applied now over this same selection we are running exit method so it is going to identify which elements are needed to get removed so it will identify or it will return the selection which contains last two p tags and with the help of that remove method they are going to get removed from page so this is how basically enter and exit works so i'll simply refresh it now what do we mean by updating a selection just like enter and exit do we have update method answer is no we do not have any method which is called as an update method so what do we mean by updating a selection so whenever new element is going to get added its text content is going to get updated i would say with the help of data method whenever we change the data it's going to get merged with current selection with the help of merge method so whatever the merge method that we have used that merge method is used for updating a selection so general pattern of any uh, data joining whenever we say we have performed a data join which is actually encapsulating the behavior of adding removing as well as updating the dom element as a single function so a function that is written as update which takes one argument which is nothing but your data with which we wish to bind or wish to perform join we first select body or or within that we select a tag select all those tags which which we wish to attach with it and we bind data with that uh, to enter or to add new elements we make use of selection dot enter that is u dot enter in this case we append a new tag we merge the collect collection with the newly appended tag collection and we simply apply new attribute such as text over it and at the end if any extra elements were there we remove it with the help of exit and remove method that is all for today thank you everyone for watching this video this is munira topia signing out